Mario Bowser's Fury Central Mechanic was something innovative and cool and very fun, Sonic Frontier's Central Mechanic is drawing circles. Look, I've got the charisma here. One of my favorite things to do on the internet is to make fun of someone with bad opinions. And obviously, from the title of this video, you know what I'm talking about. Which Force never stops being a clown on the internet. I exposed him back in June of this year, and obviously he didn't change it literally at all. Horrible Sonic Frontiers video. He has been absolutely canned on Twitter, and let's just say I wear a W for Twitter. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today to apologize. Why did you say ladies first? That's sexist. Gentlemen and ladies. Who says the man? Humans in the audience. I identify as a basketball. Humans and basketballs. I'm a parrot who mimics words but doesn't comprehend them. Humans, basketballs, talking parrots, and, and whatever else is out there. Whatever? It's whoever. All right, all right, all right just, just calm down. The fact I haven't talked about Switch Force's latest controversy yet proves this video has more than being scared of circles. But since this video has already been covered and already has been clowned on, I'll make this part short, alright? That they watch the video- No. Okay, it's my opinion, feel free to disagree, convince me otherwise, happy to hear it. But everyone right now is saying Sonic Frontiers is good now, all of a sudden. Cause that's their opinion, dumbass. And it has no clue what it's doing. Despite having a template laid out before it to exactly replicate and they refused to do it. Oh yeah, a little game called Mario Bowser's Fury came out and that is exactly what Sonic Frontier should be. A dense experience with land to cover, but challenges galore, enemies awesome, and a overall fightable character that radiates throughout the experience and is a foe that you know and feels good. Okay, first off, aside from both being platformers, they are nothing alike. And when was the last time Sonic copied Mario? It was a flop, a complete failure. Dude, if you want Sonic to be like Mario, then play Mario. There's Nintendo Switch games about Mario. Play those instead. A game that is tried and true, but tries something new, and instead Sonic Frontiers is a vomit of rail grinds and boost pads and under 60 second stages to try and grab onto your nostalgic threads and pull you in. I'm pretty sure Sonic fans hate that Groot Green Hill Zone keeps returning, and especially in Sonic Forces. There is no, hey guys, we have Green Hill Zone, buy our game, no. Fans are interested into the game. And the fact you say levels under 60 seconds probably means you never played a Sonic game. Sonic is fast, and so does the levels. That well, Mario Bowser's Fury Central Mechanic was something innovative and cool and very fun. Sonic Frontier's Central Mechanic is drawing circles. And I don't care who says it's enjoyable, who says it feels good, who says that it's a great evolution, it is bad. Drawing circles around enemies is not fun. This is the most iconic part of this video for all the, of the wrong reasons. So damn circles. Basically, his point is the circles is not fun. Huh, I wonder. For creative enemies, they put in a Mighty Mug Child Baby. Don't know why that's the main character they show off in the story trailer. Uh, Switch was getting it to a point already. Uh, you took a half minute of the video. Okay, so I watched the entirety of Switch Force's Sonic Frontiers video, and yet again, he still makes the videos unnecessarily long, doesn't get to the point until 40 minutes into the video, and guess what? He suffered Drew, Drew and wasted 4 minutes a horrible opinion. Now, this video isn't just his opinion on Sonic Frontiers, but his response to criticism. 
if you want more respectful people clowning on his Sonic First Frontiers video, I recommend watching um, Pi Studio's video about it as his models, bears, and switch forces. Now, where were we again? Now, his response to criticism really wasn't a response at all. It was absolutely trash. His point is that he can clickbait because other people were doing it, and that, and that because he had to do it because um that was because the YouTube system. Oh yeah, no, YouTube didn't even say that. Me and my editor Gabe, where I'm like, is it too much? Is it fine? And we always whittle it down till it is the lowest it can be. So again, if you were me, would you consciously go against? what the system is saying to do. It's obviously BS, but I'll let M64 bros to talk about it. Thank you for having me over again, Captain Charisma. And oh boy, oh boy, this dude doesn't even learn to shut up for once, doesn't he? Do you shut the up! You shut the up! You shut the up! You shut the up! I hope you die in a fire! Also, what satisfies me the most about this whole situation is everyone around the internet is already exposing Switch Force for his terrible take on Sonic Frontiers. Once Sonic Frontiers releases to the public later in November, I'll be satisfied as hell to see the look on Switch Force's face when he sees that Sonic Frontiers became a masterpiece. Also, I wonder if he's reacting to all the videos that he's being exposed on right now, including us. Isn't that right, Switch Force? We are exposing everything about you, and your White Knights can do nothing about it. The best part, even though he has White Knights of his own, his White Knights have absolutely nothing to do with this. And they have nothing. Nothing to threaten us with. Nothing to do with all of their strengths. My work here is done. Back to you, Charisma. Okay, so what we now learned about Switch Force, he is a horrible news reporter who doesn't link sources in the description, is a person that legit cannot reveal properly, a person who scared of circles, circles are Nazis, circles came from hell, circles are fucking horrible.